Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Diablo 4 with Murmuring Obols, aka Gambling Explained. So basically, first things first, let's explain what are Murmuring Obols. So Obols are actually currency that can be used at Curiosity Vendor and works in a very similar way as Gambling, where you used gold in Diablo 2, and shards in Diablo 3. And now, where to get Murmuring Obols? Obols can be actually obtained in two different ways. The first one is going to be World Events. So as you are going to explore the world itself, you're going to spot on a map orange circle and that will indicate actually event that either is about to start or there is a ongoing one. Simply you need to run into area and you either will start event if that has not been started yet or you can participate either with party or without party. End of the day, you will have to just fulfill the requirements for this very event and once this is completed, you will be rewarded with a chest that contains various items, including obols. Bear in mind, also while you'll be exploring dungeons, you can also trigger these world events or sometimes talk to NPC, which will then turn it into event itself. And the principle are exactly the same. So actually two birds, one stone, you'll be doing a dungeon and you can scoop some obols plus any other items. And when it comes to a second way, it's to complete side quests. And in here, once you complete any of the side quests fully, you'll be rewarded with caches. And these will then drop a random items, including a materials, potions, and obols now and then. But this is obviously another way to scoop some of this currency. Because side quests will be very limited to how many you can do, actually a world event it's a primary source if you want to go and stack up this very special currency. And then how many more marine ovals can you get? So by completing world events, you'll be granted all the way to 35 ovals. And this is obviously the amount that you'll be dropped straight from a chest all the way to that number. Whilst the second uh, way by doing a side quest, you'll be able to get all the way to 50 ovals. And bear in mind, especially on the early stages of the game, you will be capped at 500 of this currency, so you won't be able to surpass that number. If you do drop more, this will actually remain on the ground until you'll be able to spend the 500, obviously reduce that number, and you can return to a very same place to then collect it, obviously do it as soon as possible. Bear in mind that 500 number can be then increased by finding altars of Lilith, as well as increasing your renown with each region. Should you spend Murmuring Obols straight away? So, considering this currency can be easily obtained, you should definitely try your luck, especially in the early stages of the game where any new item can actually be replaced with a rare or even a legendary if you get lucky. So, as well, just to enhance your experience, I definitely recommend to go into close to this 500 number and then if you want to select one of the desired items to buy few of them at the same time. So, where to spend Murmuring Obols? So, you'll be able to spend Obols at Curiosity Vendors, and bear in mind, these NPCs will be located in major towns in comparison to, for instance, Blacksmith or Armor Vendors. So, you'll have to actually go to one of these biggest towns if you want to go and spend this currency. Bear in mind, obviously, in order to find it the quickest way, you just need to open them up and find this very specific icon, and you should have no problem with identifying one very, very quickly. So, what to buy from Curiosity Vendors then? And this is going to be entirely up to you what you want to spend obols on, as you can get any piece of equipment straight away and hopefully land something that is an upgrade, especially in these early stages as mentioned earlier. You need to bear in mind that every weapon will cost in between 40 to 75 obols per piece and this will depend obviously if it's one hander or two hander. Armors will always cost a 40 obols, whilst accessories will always cost 60. And there is also an additional item at the bottom of the list called Whispering Key that you should definitely buy at least a few of these guys as this will allow you to open a special locked chest that are scattered around the sanctuary and normally you should get some decent rewards if you open these chests. So in summary, is it really worth the hassle? As you are progressing within a game, you will come across world events and side quests anyway, so you will be filling up your obols counter by default. You can also approach it by purely grinding the currency and gearing up much quicker than you would potentially do from completing only a storyline quest. 
end of the day, whatever you're going to do, it will benefit you in the long run, so there is no wrong decision in here. Part of the late game strategy as well is to include obols in a legendary grind as you are going to be on a hunt for specific legendary aspects, but this is just another white subject that I would like to leave for another video. So that will be it when it comes to this brief summary of this very unique system that will allow you to definitely progress faster within a gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have, smash this like button, subscribe to the channel and as always, I'll see you next time.